Hey guys, uh, what's up? So, for this little mini blog, I'm going to share with you guys my daily Spanish language learning routine. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. As you guys probably know by now, I made a number of videos where I just basically talk in Spanish. Because more recently in Spain, I actually got pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty famous. Like, there are various articles written about me in Spanish because I did a video a while back where I talked about Catalonia and many news organizations started to share my video and started talking about me. And because of that video of Catalonia, I started to get lost and lost to people from Spain and they decided to follow my channel. And so, basically, I actually decided to take a conscious effort to revisit my high school Spanish because, honestly, I haven't used the Spanish in a long time. And it was a great way to practice with these people, from these people from Spain, of course. Prior to my increase of Spanish subscribers from Spain, I actually have taken Spanish before in high school. I took it for at least two years. Like, I'm not sure about the other states in America, but basically in my school, we were required to take at least two years of language. And in my school, we had like Spanish, French, and Japanese. <laughs> Obviously, Japanese, I think, is a really cool language. And I would like to learn that someday. However, like, it's really, really, really hard. Because basically, not only do you have to learn to speak Japanese, but you have to also, you know, write katakana and these other kind of characters. And French, well, basically, of course, we have, like, our neighbors, like, in Canada and Quebec who speak French. But I thought, you know, maybe Spanish might be actually easier than French because, obviously, we're near Mexico. So, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of Hispanics here and not a lot of French people here. So maybe it might be more useful. That's what I thought when I took the Spanish class. When I had Spanish class in school, I can't say I learned a lot. I basically learned, like, the basic phrases, like, uh, hello, goodbye, and see you later, and some random stuff. But other than that, I did not really learn that much by going to school. And so, basically, <laughs> after school, I actually um, had some sort of, like, a job. It was at a restaurant. I no longer work at that restaurant. But there was like a lot of people from Latin America and I actually learned a lot of words that way by working at my first job from Latin Americans. Like I learned table, I learned like uh, coffee and milk and other kind of food items and bagels. So it was kind of interesting learning a lot of stuff on the streets by talking to the natives, by actually interacting with them from that way. Fast forward to now and of course ton of Spanish people from Spain just follow my channel. And so, basically, I thought, hey, you know, it might be cool to revisit my high school Spanish and actually improve it. And so, for this video, I'm going to show you guys what I do every day to improve my Spanish in hopes of actually, you know, being good. And hopefully, you guys might like it and find it interesting. I know it's not like a typical blog or like video I make, but it's still interesting ne nevertheless. As you guys probably see right now, I have a lot of books on Spanish, like a whole lot of books. So let's go buy them one by one. Now this is like the Merriam-Webster's EDM book where it talks about EDMs for Spanish. There's also the most useful words, easy phrases for Spanish. Now this one, this one right there is like super, super helpful. Like it talks about verb conjugation. Like you know how there's like past, present, and future tenses? Well this book really, really helps you out on this. Like there's just so much ways to say it like in, in perfect, perfect <laughs> future past tense so basically if you need help with the grammar this book is really really good like there's also like this slang book now basically like <laughs> like this book is so helpful like if you hear bad words obviously it will help you out a lot and also sometimes like these people like <laughs> like if you need to swear back to people this is also really helpful now this is my favorite book of the books like this is like a visual spanish english dictionary inside of the book it has like images of like the people and stuff and it also has the words and translation is also really helpful you're probably thinking to yourself well geez tyler how come we got a book about swearing in spanish well guess what <laughs> i think like the best aspect of learning a language is the swear words like don't tell me when you guys learn english 
you guys did not want to learn how to swear because ultimately, like, if people curse you out, you need to curse back at them. And obviously, swearing is part of daily life. And I honestly think that the swear words in Spanish are, are just super, super funny, in my opinion. Another aspect that I use a lot in my Spanish routine is basically talk to people on WhatsApp. Now, WhatsApp <laughs> is really popular in, like, Latin America and in Spain. However, it's not that popular in America, but somehow <laughs> I got WhatsApp and usually I talk to people from Spain to practice and get exercise. So here's an example of that. Already I'm on my WhatsApp right now on my cell phone and basically I sent this message to my friend Crystal from Spain. She lives in Valencia and here's my message I sent to her. Hola Cristo, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo te sientes? Yo espero que todas las cosas en España son muy impresionantes, muy chido. Y este es mi mensaje para ti porque me gustaría decir que me gustaría tener un directo en mi canal de YouTube uh, probablemente en la próxima semana. Porque me gustaría hablar de muchos temas, por ejemplo, las elecciones en España y otras cosas como artículo uh, 13. Entonces, me gustaría escuchar a la respuesta de ti y uh, hasta luego. Honestly, I don't understand how people can understand my accent. Like, my accent is just so terrible. Like... I know it's like super American, but it's like, oh my god, like, I don't like hearing my voice at all. It does not matter if I'm speaking English or Spanish, like, I just don't like hearing my voice. Apart from my little WhatsApp chat, I also have like a dictionary on my phone from DK. And basically, when you open it, it has a whole listing of words that I can pronounce every day. For example, there's the word la gente right there, so if you press it, La gente. You can hear the word, and I can just repeat it. So let's use the word something that's actually, you know, pretty cool. Like, for example, la cabeza. La cabeza. Elbow is like el codo. El codo. And, of course, we have, like, male. That's el hombre. El hombre. <laughs> okay. And, of course, hand is like la mano. La mano. And females, la mujer. La mujer. So basically, if I have problems finding a word that I don't know, I could just use my dictionary and to pronounce the words, I just press the button to just listen to the audio so I can repeat the words. I'm going to respond back to my friend. No. No pasa nada. No pasa nada. Tienen un impuesto. Tienen un impuesto. Para los links. Si quieres compartir. Articulos. And clips de YouTube. But yeah, sorry I'm not talking right now. But basically, I try to... Uh, I try to think of words. I can't really concentrate while writing stuff down. Okay, I just finished writing my message. And as you guys can see, basically I don't use Google Translate to write my messages. I use like the information that I have in my head. So if I don't know a word at a particular moment, I don't write down the word. However, if I do know the words of certain stuff, I just write it down. And so I just write down from memory on my cell phone my answers to things and just practice that way. Another thing that I like to do is basically watch TV shows. Now, I'm not sure about you guys, but dictionaries and books don't do anything for me unless I have some sort of visuals to actually see examples of what people are saying. And so sometimes I'll just go on TV. I'll watch like DVDs and also TV shows like on Telemundo to practice and listen to what like the people are saying that way i can build like my vocabulary believe it or not the majority of north american blu-ray or dvd releases have spanish subtitles or spanish audio or sometimes french audio and french subtitles 
And so basically, if you're a person who collect DVDs or Blu-rays, you get Spanish audios on the disc, and that way you can practice that way. So let's check out like these shows that I like to see on my free time. I'm on YouTube right now, and oh my god, the app is not working right now. Hello Mundo. And basically, like, on Telemundo, they have, like, uh, English subtitles. So Telemundo English has, like, various shows. And one of the favorite shows that I like to watch a lot from Telemundo is stuff like uh, <laughs> Reina del Sur. Basically, like, uh, the Queen of the South. There's also, like, uh, Becky in Nueva York. That's, like, a really good one. There's also other stuff that I see a lot, like uh, Caso Serrato, which is also like a court case show that I watch a lot. It's pretty good stuff. Well, guys, that's my uh, my daily routine on how I practice Spanish every day, give or take. Now, of course, I'm not the most perfect speaker. I'm not like fluent or anything. I'm like conversational level at this point, but it's still pretty awesome to know take the effort to learn things every day, to learn new words, to learn, of course, the grammatics and <laughs> the swear words. It's like, it's so cool to talk to people that you normally don't talk to because usually when you just have one language, you just block yourself to just talking to other different people and having different perspectives that you haven't asked out about before. And so I'm kind of glad that, you know, <laughs> I'm so glad that I chose to, you know, choose this language. Maybe I might do some more in the future, maybe not. But hopefully by the time I get fluent, I'll probably study other stuff. Who knows? And until next time, take care. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.